Hey, it's Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here, and I'm going to show you how to hook up a DVD player and a VCR to a TV monitor. Now, when you go to set up your, your home entertainment system, there's a lot of questions you have to ask yourself beforehand. Uh, do I have surround sound? What is my cable options? What do I want to record? What do I want to play off of? Well, we can't delve into all of that, so we're going to go with the very simple of how to actually hook it up to the monitors or TVs nowadays. So what we do is, is that the televisions now have multiple inputs to select. So when you're on the main screen, you'll select video one is going to be VCR, video two is going to be the DVD player. So let's show us how it's done. All right, this is an old school VCR right here. So we're going to use this audio cable. The RCAs are the same, it's just the colors aren't going to match up. Since this one only has a monaural or one output, we don't need the three wires. Um, Cables can range anywhere from a few pennies to hundreds of dollars. So depending on your budget and the quality of your system, you can decide on what cables to uh, use. These will do just fine for our needs. Okay, I'm going to make red to be our video. And I'm seeing down here we're using video out and audio out. So because of certain options, we're going to choose to use AV1 as an input. You can see here we've got the, uh, the RGB. Uh, for, for the better uh, composite inputs, or component inputs rather, and we're going to go ahead and put these in here into the regular RCA ones. So I'm simply going to use my red, which I decided was my video, and then my audio, which is white, and I'm going to put it in here. And now we've got both audio and video hooked up. So now we've got our VCR hooked up into our monitor, and when we want to watch it and listen to it, we simply choose AV1. Now. To hook up our DVD player, it's a little bit different. I'm going to choose my component for a better picture quality. Again, I'm using low-end wires to make it happen, but just to show you that you can use anything from low-end to the high-end. I'm just going to remember exactly where my colors match up. I'm going to put the red in the red, the white in the blue, and the yellow in the green. Now, I'm also going to hook up my audio for two more cables. And that's pretty easy here. We're going to match that up correctly for red for right channel, and white for left channel. For my DVD player, I'm going to choose to use AV2. All right, I'm going to start with my audio first because it's further in the back, and I'm simply going to slip up here and see the red to the right, boop, and the white to the left, straight up in here. Okay, and then we're going to match it up for our RGB, RGB rather breakout. I'm going to put the red in here, the yellow in here. Uh, pardon me. We're going to use the white for the blue and the yellow for the green. And now I simply need to remember or program into the monitor that AV2 is my DVD player. And I'm going to get a better picture because I use the component breakdown of it. So we've got AV1 being our old school VHS VCR and we've got a more modern connection up on our new DVD player. So that's it. That's how to hook both a DVD player and a VCR up to your television monitor. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.